welcome to my channel which is all about helping you and your pet live the best life together possible. We talk about things like behavior, training, and creating a life of health, balance, and joy for your pet. So today we will be talking about how to teach your cat or your rabbit to walk on a leash. So you can use these same tips for both a cat and a rabbit and soon you'll be able to take your cat or rabbit outside on a leash. So cats and rabbits enjoy trips outside to explore in safety. Trips outside can give them some enrichment in their life. They can have some smells and some different sights that they normally wouldn't be seen inside. They can get fresh air, enjoy the sunshine. It can be unsafe to let your cat outside without being on a leash or being without being supervised because of things like traffic, other wild animals, getting lost, viruses and bacteria, and also other people. Overall, cats that are let outside do have a shorter lifespan than cats that are only indoor cats. This is because of the things that I had mentioned like a traffic or um, injury, other wild animals. But the only thing is that indoor cats can often get bored and they do like to experience the same sort of things that outdoor cats can. And when you teach your cat to walk on a leash, your cat can get those same experiences. So your cat gets supervised outdoor time and your cat is safe. Taking your cat or your rabbit on a leash doesn't necessarily mean that your cat or rabbit will be walking the same as a dog. It's more just exploring and sniffing around outside. It can just be in your backyard. It can be at a quiet place or a little park, but it's not, don't expect the same experience as if you had a dog. It can be difficult to train your cat to um, get used to the leash, especially if your cat is already older. It works better when your cat is a kitten. It's easier for your cat to get used to, but that doesn't mean that you can't train your older cat to get used to a leash. First you're going to need to buy a comfortable harness. Do not use a collar for a leash for your rabbit or your cat. Make sure that the harness is tight enough that your cat or rabbit will not escape or pull through. And make sure the clasps are strong. So the first thing you're going to do is get your cat or your rabbit used to the leash. This step will take longer in cats and in rabbits it might be a lot quicker. So for your cat, you're going to place the leash near your cat's sleeping area and leave it there for a few days or as long as you think is needed. This is just getting your cat used to the appearance and the smell of the leash. You can also hold the harness out towards your cat. Use treats as rewards when your cat does come close. Find something that your cat really enjoys to eat and keep using this. Have the cat eat meals near the harness. Play near the harness. Do all sorts of, of your cat's favorite activities near the harness. When your cat is used to the harness, your cat will not care about it. Your cat will not sniff it. Your cat will not look at it. Your cat will show no interest in the harness. Some cats might get this right away and you don't have to repeat these steps of playing near the harness, sleeping near the harness, eating near the harness. Some cats it might take quite a long time before they're used to the harness. So once you have discovered that your cat shows no interest in the harness, you're ready to try and put the harness on your cat. The minute your cat shows signs of becoming upset or being mad, you need to stop. It might take a few tries or a few days to get the harness on your cat. Once you have the harness on your cat, reward your cat with treats. Only try to get your the harness on your cat once a day and stop right away when your cat seems uncomfortable. If your cat becomes scared of the harness or starts to not like the harness, you're going to have a lot harder of time getting the harness on your cat. So it's best to just be extra careful and take it extra slow than to push your cat farther than your cat wants to go. Once your cat has the harness on, you're going to let your cat wear the harness around the house. You're also going to play with your cat while your cat is wearing the harness. Give your cat its favorite food while he or she's wearing the harness and keep the harness on for just a short period of time and then over each day you can expand the time that your cat wears the harness. Remember this is all inside the house. 
So you're going to repeat this, repeat playing with your cat while your cat is wearing the harness and feeding your cat while your cat is wearing the harness and putting the harness on and off your cat for a few days. Each time leave the harness on for a longer period of time. So after a few days and after you've done this quite a bit, you can attach the leash to the harness and walk the cat around the house. So remember that you're keeping everything inside the house. Be sure to watch carefully about how your cat is taking the harness and how your cat is enjoying it. The minute you think your cat is uncomfortable, angry, or wants the harness off, take the harness off and stop the activity. Always remember to praise your cat, give your cat treats, pet your cat in your cat's favorite spot to be petted, and play with your cat. So do this a few times every day. Once you have discovered that your cat is comfortable with the harness, you are ready to take your cat outside while wearing the harness. For the first time your cat is outside while wearing the harness, let your cat go wherever he or she wants to go. You're just following your cat around. Your cat probably won't do much and will might just sit down and look. That's fine, let your cat do that. This is your cat's first time outside or it may be your cat's first time outside. There are a lot of sounds and smells and scary things that your cat has never seen before. So let your cat take it all in. You don't want your cat to become scared. So the first time you're outside, keep it very short and then bring your cat back inside. Every time you go outside, you can expand the time and make it longer. So some things to remember is to never pull or restrict your cat's movements. Just let your cat walk and you're the one following your cat around. This is going to keep your cat interested and liking the harness and being outside. Once your cat is very comfortable, you will be able to walk around with your cat, but it will take some time before you can get there. Keep the leash very loose. You don't want any tension or pulling on the harness or on the cat. So keep it very loose, stay close to your cat, keep the lead very long. After you've done that a few times, you can teach your cat to follow you. So hold the leash and while your cat is sniffing or looking around, you can call your cat to you. Be sure to call friendly, gentle, calm, so there's no yelling or no pulling. Be sure not to pull on the leash when you want to bring your cat to you. Once your cat comes to you, you can reward your cat with a treat. So leash training should be fun and, and enjoyable for your cat. If your cat isn't having fun or isn't enjoying it, it's time to stop and you can repeat it, pick it up again the next day. Remember that every cat will move at a different pace and some cats move a lot more slowly than other cats. Let the cat lead the pace and follow what your cat wants to do. So as I mentioned, outside can be very scary. There are a lot of new sights, smells, and sounds, and textures to walk on. So respect your cat, and if your cat is scared or nervous, you need to stop. Take your time, take it slow, be very patient. So as I mentioned, these steps can also be used for rabbits. So I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on taking your cat outside on a leash or if you have already done so and how it went. Thanks for watching. Bye.